Hey, what's up guys? Maximus Black here, and I'm going to be doing a review on Ozone's 7HX headset. Now, the last time we talked about the Rage ST, and this time we're going to take a bit of an upgrade to the 7HX. Now, you're probably going, Jeff, why would I get this over, say, this? And, well... The big selling feature is the fact that it has 7.1 surround sound. That is right, 7.1 surround sound all up in your ears. Now, this is good if you are an FPS player, you know, if you're doing a little bit of uh, Battlefield or Call of Duty, you'll be able to hear guys coming from all around. But if you're playing StarCraft, you know, uh, I will say that the headset itself sounds a lot better. Um, than the Rage ST simply because the specs are better, uh, but you're, it's a bit overkill if you're kind of just playing a, a game that doesn't necessarily need uh, 7.1 surround sound. But hopefully, um, there are other features that can sway you into getting the uh, bigger, better headset, such as the fact that it looks cool. Um, as you can see, it's got some red lights here. They actually go on both sides. So if you're gaming um, in the dark, it really looks cool. And also, the microphone itself uh, has a light as well. Something that the uh, Rage ST does not have. Um, to my knowledge, anyway. Uh, it never, never lit up. So uh, I think that they put that on there just to sort of match the cosmetic look of the headset itself. Um, also, if we take a look at, because I have the Rage ST here, if we take a look at the control here, very, very similar. Now, this one obviously matches better. Um, it's got the lights on it as well, which is nice because uh, I do a lot of gaming in the dark. I know it's really bad for my eyes, and it's probably why I have glasses. Um, if you are just, say, you're gaming in the dark, you know, you're going crazy, you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm winning, ah, oh, die, and then you go, oh, man, the, the sound's too loud, I, I, oh, where's my, uh, where's my thing? It's just lit up down there, you, you can't miss it, right? So you just grab it, and it has the click adjusters instead of the, um, dials here. Now, this one has the on and off switch that you can put up and put down, uh, but this one has just click, so if you want to turn it up, you just click how many times you want to turn it up, turn it down. And then if you want to turn the mic off, you just do it like that, on, off, on, off. So, you know, it, it's pretty much the same, except that this comes with a light, and you click instead of doing the dial. Uh, the microphone itself, now, if you were thinking, well, maybe I'll get the higher-end headset because maybe it has a better microphone. It does not have a better microphone. In fact, the specs on both of these products are identical for the microphone. The only thing that is different is the fact that it has the light on it. So it looks a little bit cooler and it blends in a little bit better. In fact, um, it does screw, I mean, look how, look how quick and easy it is to plug this bad boy in and plug it out. It's very, very simple. Now, I don't know if this works, I'm sure it does. Um, you can actually plug in, this is the microphone from the Rage ST, uh, it plugs right into to this headset, but as you can see, it does not light up, so um, once again, that's really the only difference uh, mic-wise, they're identical, so, you know, if you were thinking, well, maybe I'll, I'll spend the extra couple of dollars because the mic's better, it isn't, it's the exact same, but the sound quality is better in this headset, not only is it 7.1 surround sound, it's going to sound better when you're listening to music. It's obviously going to sound better when you're just playing games in general. The bass is better. Um, it's got more of a uh, full feel to it. Uh, and maybe that's because it, it, it is surround sound. It just does feel better. Um, it's also a little bit more comfortable as well. I know I gave a lot of praise to the Rage ST for being really comfortable because uh, it's got a lot of padding. But as you can see here, it's got a mesh padding underneath. Still feels fine. But with the 7HX, it does have that leather on both sides. So it's much smoother, and it just is a little bit more comfortable. Um, also, it's got the adjustables here. It's really good if you have glasses like myself. 
uh, so that your glasses aren't being pressed against your temple all the time and eventually you'll get a headache but with these it really doesn't hurt I can game for hours and hours and hours at a time and I do not feel any pain whatsoever um, now the big thing and the reason why I don't use this headset is because it is a USB headset now a lot of other headsets are just your regular you know plug into your mic jack and uh, plug into your headset jack and you're on your way now with this headset you only have to plug in your USB and you're set to go now the reason why I don't use it is because I paid a couple hundred dollars for a higher end sound card that I like to plug in to the sound card directly and power my headphones through that sound card now with the USB it kind of uses its own like sound card it plugs in and you're good to go um, you don't have to plug it into any of your sound jacks or anything like that so for some it may be a con because they may have spent a little bit of money on a sound card or the simple fact they do not have a, a USB port available um, now that shouldn't be a problem because you should own an ozone strike like I do um, and I got my day 9 key there on the 9 key that he gave me uh, shout out to day 9 um, the strike comes with two USB plugins so you never have to really worry about do I have an extra USB uh, because if you're repping ozone the keyboard itself um, is a nice little hub for all of your ozone products such as your mouse that I have hooked up to it and right now the headset and if I unplug the headset it powers right down and you know you have power when the lights turn back on so that's really the only maybe con to the product is the fact that it is USB and I think it's for the simple fact that it is a powerful uh, headset so they really needed to use the USB in order to really power it um, and maybe they didn't want to have you guys to have to go out and spend X amount of dollars on a better sound card instead of maybe the one that your uh, motherboard comes with uh, so that is and, and it's still in my opinion it's not really a con but to some it may be um, or if you don't have a free USB port you you'll have to go out and get um, one of those little um, I don't know, you can plug it in and it gives you like three or four more uh, USBs that are really, really cheap. But that's pretty much about it. It's more comfortable, it sounds better, it looks better for sure, and um, the cord's longer. It's, uh, I do believe, 2.9 meters long. Uh, 2.9 meters long. Man, I did my homework. I did my homework. And uh, the Rage is 2.5. Five meters. Yep, two point five meters. So, yeah, I mean, you've got more room. So if you want to go, oh look at me, I'm playing my my game from over here. You can do that. Uh, also, it is a closed back headset as well. It's not one of those like Dre Beat type headsets where you can't hear anything at all around you. Um, if my cats are fighting in the other room. I'm not really going to be able to hear them, but if my fiance comes down around the corner and she says, Jeff, keep it down, you're making too much noise, I need to work in the morning, I'm most certainly going to hear her so that I don't get my ass whooped. Uh, so it's nice. It's got a happy medium. It's, it's, it drains out some of the background noise, but you can hear yourself. I don't know what it is about headphones that are super closed back. I, I don't like not being able to hear myself uh, because I'm constantly commentating and talking while I'm playing. And if I'm not hearing myself, I might be talking like this, and I might be talking way too loud. But I might be talking like this, and they might not even be able to hear me. So uh, it's got a nice, happy medium for that. But anyway, I'm kind of rambling on here, guys. Uh, go check it out, ozonegaming.com. Links are going to be in the description below. If you haven't already went to their Facebook page and liked them there, please go do that. And thank them for uh, signing me on and uh, supporting me and keeping um, me doing what I love to do. And that's entertain you guys and show you guys awesome products and also I've had a lot of people go Jeff I cannot buy ozone stuff in Canada what in the sweet tits why can't I do it and it's the simple fact that we just don't have a distribution center uh, that is giving out to Canada yet now we do have some in for the United States and all over the world 
Um, but right now, Canada is a bit tough. My suggestion would be to go onto the Ozone um, Facebook or Twitter. You can tweet them, say, hey, I'm really interested in getting an Ozone product, but I live in Canada. They may be able to work around that, or at the bare minimum, they'll be able to tell you uh, when we have that available for Canada. Um, we, they do have uh, distribution centers for the U.S. and stuff like that. Now, if you go on the website and you go to their store on the site, I do believe it's still down. Uh, but if you go to the bottom, you can see exactly where um, the the products are available. You'll be able to see like uh, New Egg and, and other different companies that, that hold ozone stuff. So go on their site. Go check it out. Uh, if you want to know a little bit more about the specs, um, it's got... Uh, you can look more about this online, uh, but it's pretty much got all the same uh, specs as the Rage ST does. You know, the uh, the extra large ear cushions, the ergonomic design, uh, and the uh, inline controller. That's pretty much it. Now I'm really rambling on. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good one. Maximus Black, peace out.